hello i just wanted to say hello from coronado national monument and i just hiked up to coronado peak and there's some really cool stuff up here i wanted to show you so this is the little peak right behind me this little grassy hill hiked up here while um uncle peter is hiking the much bigger mountains in the background he's on a big long journey so i came on this little hike and there's a lot of neat stuff here and let's see if we can see what kind of animals live here i haven't seen any of these animals but i'm going to be looking on the way back down all right we have deer these little things that look like pigs but they're actually called javelina and they're not pigs butterflies hummingbirds oh and what's this one over here that looks like my kitty cat back at home right that looks like oscar no that's a mountain lion we do not want to see any of those on the way back down i'd be okay if i don't ever see a mountain lion except maybe from the car or maybe never anyway those are some of the animals that live out here in the coronado national memorial and this place was named because a long time ago some spanish explorers led by coronado uh, came through here uh, when only native americans were living here and they were the first spanish people to come through this region so they named it after them and here's some of them their pictures yep old-timey pictures coming on horses i'm really glad i didn't have to ride a horse here today i just drove them in our car and then i walked on my feet another really cool thing that you can see from here is you can see a whole different country you can see the country of mexico so i'm going to kind of do like a little pano pan around here and let you see and if you see some mountains off in the distance those mountains are actually in mexico so there's the valley down there it's nice and flat and that's what a valley is and you can see there's a wall that is separating the united states and mexico that's the border between the two countries and then there's some mountains out there and some more flat land and all of that is not in the united states all of that is actually part of mexico so we're really close to a whole nother country and as you can tell it's a little bit windy up here so all right well i'm gonna start hiking back on the trail and let's see what it looks like up here at the summit i was trying to get out of the wind a little bit but maybe you want to see the view from up top we can see the mountains that uncle peter's climbing on the other side of the gap i don't think we can see him though because he would just look like a little bitty ant up on top there we go now you can see them better. Wow, they're big. He was going about nine miles and then about 3,000 feet up, which is the part I don't like. So I just did this little hike. Maybe we can see our car down in the gap. Oh yeah, there you go. Can you see that little parking lot way down there? We'll see, right there. <laughs> All right, car's down there. So I'm gonna go get a snack out of the car now that I did my hike and I'll talk to you next time. Love you, bye.